So for the filter that we're going to use, the red filter, it just snaps onto the front of the housing, that square housing. It has a little extension that comes down and when we insert it onto the stick that we're gonna hold onto it with, that will secure the filter also. So let's go take this thing underwater and see what it does. All of these images above water, we're using the 8-man and you can see it has nice clarity, good color. At about 25 to 30 feet deep, as we lose the reds and oranges, suddenly this has a really nice green tint to it. Still has good detail, but very green. This lizard fish looks like he's the king of disguise here. Since everything is green, he just blends in with the bottom. So my underwater cameraman, Jeff with Triton's Realm, who was using a DC-2000 with video lights, discovered this little guy. This is a baby drumfish. How cute is he? So a very green diver passes over another very green, uninteresting reef. Well, let's see if we can do something about that. Let's magically add back some color to this. As you can see, by doing some post-production color correction, we're able to make this a much more interesting image. This large barrel sponge looks very green. Again, let's work some magic on it. And now you can see, color corrected, a much more interesting image, much warmer. We brought back the reds and the oranges. And again, the camera shows good 4K detail. Towards the end of our dive, in the middle of Cane Bay, we came across this. This is one of the coral nurseries where they're regrowing staghorn coral. And again, it looks very green. Let's make it look better. Much warmer, much more inviting to look at. And again, check out the detail as we get up close. Our last task was to check out the filter 